Pastor Sean was taken from us, sadly, two summers ago. So Jasana and I decided to do this for him. August 14th, 2010. To those who did not know or were not affected, August 14th might have and may still seem like just another day. Do you remember where you were? Do you know who you were with? What you were doing? I do, as many of you sitting in front of me do today. This day, so memorable, was the day that most of us got the news that our brother, our classmate, and our friend was taken, for us, taken from us for reasons that are still unclear. Whether you received the news via text message or social media or a phone call from a friend like I did, I know that it was not easy to swallow. On behalf of the class of 2012, I ask that we take a moment of silence to bow our heads and to speak to, Desha to, to Sean Garth Brownfield, who would have been sitting alongside us today celebrating in our graduation. Thank you. Remembering our classmate is not an easy thing to discuss or think about, but I ask that you try not to cry. Instead, smile up to our brother as he watches over us. Tashawn was always smiling and always did his best to make those around him happy, so I know that he would want us to stay strong. The intent is not to forget Tashawn, because how could you ever? The intent is to remember all of the good things that we had with him and the good times that we had and to keep him alive through memory and kind actions. Such a genuine and sweet boy was taken from us on August 14, 2010, but I assure you that here on June 20th, 2012, he's still here. To Sean, our fallen angel, our guardian angel, may you forever rest in peace.